there's there's a lot of love for number 22, which by the way, tell us there's a there's a 22. Con I mean, everything for you has sort of a connection that goes somewhere. Yes, it does. Well, and it um kind of comes back to my fourth grade teacher here from Orlando, Florida. Back in fourth grade, my fourth grade teacher told me, he said, something special will happen on your golden birthday. And he said, um, you know, when you turn 10 on the 10th or 22 on the 22nd. And my birthday is September 22nd. And so years later, I moved to LA and uh, I went to an Angels game and uh, I didn't have an Angel shirt to wear. And my friend bought me, my hus now husband, uh, his shirt, which is a David Eckstein shirt, number 22. And, and I, I'm not one of those girls that, you know, chases you know after guys especially athletes so I was just like oh gosh you know well I was working that week the only day I had off was Monday and um, Monday happened to be September 22nd my 22nd birthday and he was number 22 so I met my husband on my golden birthday and um, we, we hit it off and we started dating from there and then I called my fourth grade teacher and I was like you'll never guess I met my husband on my golden birthday and you were right again you've continued to sort of carry forward your love and your passion for Disney, not just in your personal life, but in your business life. Same thing for Star Wars, even beyond Star Wars weekends, you're again extending that reach to girls and women. Tell us what else you're doing the Ashley Eckstein way for girls. Yes, well, you know, a couple years ago when I was cast as Ahsoka, I I was always a Star Wars fan, but I became an even bigger Star Wars fan once I started working on the show. And naturally, I went to the internet, I started searching stores for female Star Wars merchandise, and I couldn't really find any. I mean, it was didn't really exist, and it, it was puzzling to me because I would go to conventions and I would see just tons of female fans, and so um, I started doing my research and I found out that almost half of all Star Wars fans are women, and 80% of the consumer market is women, and you're not giving us anything to buy. What is not adding up there? The numbers are not adding up. So um, I started, uh, you know, I started talking to the amazing people at Lucasfilm, and um, I started a new company called Her Universe. And uh, you can go to heruniverse.com, and um, it what it is is it's a merchandise company for female sci-fi fans. And our first license is Star Wars. So we we have apparel, uh, jewelry, accessories, eventually cosmetics like lightsaber lip gloss. And, um, but right now we're um, launching our online store next month, uh, roughly looking around like June 21st. And um, it, you can go on www.heruniverse.com uh, and buy. We'll have an online store. We're going to have t-shirts uh, coming in July. We're going to have some hats. We're going to have some jewelry. Uh, we're going to have some sweatshirts. And then we're going to be on sale at all the conventions. We're going to be at San Diego Comic-Con. We're going to be at Celebration 5 here in Orlando. We're going to have a huge booth, uh, hopefully even a fashion show. It's gonna, We're going to have some fun stuff. So, you know, this is just the beginning. I hope the sky's the limit. I mean, I think, I think there's so many things you can do for female you know sci-fi fans and star wars fans and so maybe make ahsoka's boots you never know <laughs> you know you're now obviously i'm sure you knew the draw of, of disney and the draw of star wars as a fan what's it like for you to be on the opposite side of the rope now and you are the celebrity and you get a chance to have oh. people running up and meeting you oh it's it's just so crazy because you know um i i come back to disney throughout the year just as a as a guest and um you know, I, I nobody notices me, and you know, I just go on the rides just like anybody else. But during Star Wars weekends, this is such an amazing event for fans, and all the fans are here, and I, I love meeting the fans. And um, so it is kind of surreal to be on the other side, but. Um, you know, what, what's nice about it is, it, again, it's given me a chance to meet all the fans, but also, you know, for uh, her universe, um, I'm asking the fans what they want. I mean, I was planning a, a necklace, and I literally changed the design at the last minute uh, to change it to a Rebel Alliance symbol necklace, because that's what all the girls said they wanted. I mean, I asked the girls, go to my blog on my website, go to my Facebook page, go to Twitter. Um, all of our links are on heruniverse.com. Tell me your suggestions. Tell me what you want. I mean, I, I want to give the fans what they've been waiting for. And so this event is a chance for me to interact with the fans, answer their questions about the series. I mean, I can't talk about season three, but um, I, you know, I can answer their questions about Ahsoka, and it's, it's just a great event. And the fact that you take suggestions for the things that you're doing, 
I think it's just great because it gives them the feeling that they have a part in, in things that they really, really enjoy. Yeah. Well, you know, years ago, I, I had a favorite band and I went to an autograph signing of theirs. And, um, and it wasn't their fault. There was just so many people there. But we waited in line for like an hour and, and then they signed my picture and they didn't even look up at up at me and it was like they kept their head down the whole time and just said okay next 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 and I, I just left thinking like oh my gosh I just wanted to like have a quick hello like just an exchange and I remember that feeling when I walked away and I never ever want anybody to feel that way when they walk away from my table like I want to meet each and every person and and I'm just so thankful that that they're here I mean for our autograph line I found out people are sleeping overnight and to me like that's just that's so amazing and if they're willing to sleep overnight to meet me you can have all my time. I mean, I'd love to chat with you, answer your questions, and so I'm just so thankful everyone's here. I have to ask you the requisite questions because I think that you're a fan first. You gotta give me your favorite attraction, and more importantly, Ashley, you gotta tell me your favorite food on property. Oh, I've got all the answers, almost oh, too many. <laughs> you know, actually, and it's it's funny, as a, and this goes way back to when I was a kid. Veggie, veggie, fruit, fruit. Oh my God. <laughs> I love oh. veggie, veggie, fruit, fruit. Um, <laughs> no, actually my favorite part is the countries, honestly. Okay. Um, I, I always did, my mom, uh, every now and then, I've, I've, there's four of us siblings, and she would, she would take us out of school for a day, and um, each individually, and we'd have our own special day with her, and she would take us around the world, and we'd get our passport, of course, and um, we'd go to each country, and, uh, and, and I, for me, it was always the candy tour. I loved getting a piece of candy from every country, but my favorite, I have to say, are the kakigoris in Japan, the snow cones. I love the kakigoris. Um, however, I have to say, probably my all-time favorite food at Disney is the churro carts, um, or the churros. And uh, I actually, I love them so much. I had a churro cart inside my wedding reception at the Yacht and Beach Club. I, I told them, I said, can you please get a churro cart from the park and bring it in? And then my husband, he loves the Mickey Mouse ice cream sandwiches. So we had ice cream carts in the wedding reception. So that's probably my favorite food. Third would have to be a Dole Whip. But, Hearts um, are breaking around the world, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and then I, but in terms of a ride, um, you know, I love Alice in Wonderland, but the spinning, I can't say it's my favorite. I think it's always been Big Thunder Mountain. I love Thunder Mountain, so that's probably my favorite ride, but. Ashley Eckstein, Ahsoka Tano, <laughs> Star Wars fan, Star Wars entrepreneur, Disney fan, former cast member. I think I have something else to add to your list of credentials. The perfect woman. Um, <laughs> Ashley Eckstein, thank you so much for taking the time with me. Taking the time, oh my gosh. And, and thank you for taking the time with all the fans and the guests that come out here to see you. Oh, not a problem. Anytime. Have a magical day. <laughs>